Hi everyone, number one Marmaduke fan here. I just watched the trailer for Pokemon Detective Pikachu, the live action movie for the second time in a row. And I'm kind of confused by it and I wanna talk about it a little bit. I've already seen their theory videos talking about the aesthetics of the characters, the musical late motifs in the trailer. What I wanna talk about is the kind of character Detective Pikachu is and how you can actually learn something from the weird popularity of the movie trailer for this. Now, I think part of the popularity is just how weird it is. I, I and a lot of other people, I'm sure, took one look at that and thought, this is an April Fool's joke. This is a gimmick to market the next Detective Pikachu game. But what it is, if you're not familiar with the meme, is a few years ago, there was a joke petition which circulated on the internet to cast Danny DeVito as the voice actor for Pikachu when they localized the Detective Pikachu game in English. And this was because people heard the Japanese trailer, and it was a very deep, masculine voice actor. They got to play Pikachu. And that, of course, is kind of inherently funny because Pikachu is a cute little mouse character, you know? And so it, it, what's funny about it is even to a person person who doesn't know anything about Pokemon or like Pokemon. They know of Pikachu as that cute rat that's on their kid's lunchbox, right? And it comes from Japan. So the second you put a detective hat on Detective Pikachu and you give him a deep voice, you instantly have a character. And I think this is what made this catch on. And the, the very fact that this movie exists is an illustration of viral marketing or being aware of the importance of a viral campaign for making a movie. I'm, I'm absolutely convinced someone at Warner Brothers saw the Danny DeVito thing go viral and had a little meeting and st uh, to talk about that old like uh, relationship they had with Nintendo over them Pokemon movies, right? Uh, I, I still kind of wish they got Danny DeVito for the role since he's still alive, but I think Ryan Reynolds has a good, deep detective voice to make this work. So I want to talk about how I think a character like Detective Pikachu is noteworthy for any writer or artist. What I think makes Detective Pikachu work is it is a unique combination of concepts where the second you describe it, you understand the concept. And you understand the concept even if you are not familiar with the thing it's based off of or the fan it comes from. So the examples I always like to use for this are Batman and Spider-Man are probably, I think, inarguably the two most popular superheroes over the history of the medium of superhero comics. Ironically, both Batman and Spider-Man have the name of kind of a creepy, scary animal in their name, bats and spiders. And the second you say Batman and Spider-Man, you have associations with those names beyond just man who dresses up as bat or man who dresses up as spider. The second you say Batman, you think dead parents, you think revenge against crime, you think criminals are a superstitious and cow cowardly lot. Batman and Spider-Man have been able to permeate the culture well, not, not just because they have a unique name, but because they've had like long years of people telling interesting stories about them. But I do think it's noteworthy that both of the, the two of the most popular superhero characters ever have an unusual name. They have an unusual gimmick. They're not Lion Man and Hawk, Hawk Boy, right? They are creepy things combined with heroic things. So coming back to Detective Pikachu, the thing that makes Detective Pikachu a character, the second you say the words Detective Pikachu, is it is a cute, charming, bubbly thing combined with a gritty thing from a, a forgotten era, like the era of the private detective who uh, lives in the seedy crime-ridden city and uh, and hunts down mur murderers and pimps, right? So the, the idea that Detective Pikachu connotes is that there is literally this cute little animal that has dedicated its life to uh, finding criminals and hunting them down and bringing them to justice. And I think that's brilliant. Uh, I think that's what clicked for a lot of people. I think it's the reason a lot of people thought of Danny DeVito instantly when they saw the Japanese trailers for the game is that DeVito has this kind of gritty blue collar voice that would work for a detective character like that. And it's a unique combination of different things. And the, the pull away, I think the takeaway for people who want to write a, a popular character or a successful character is in addition to, you know, like the, the details of your world and, you know, the plot of the adventure and, you know, the details of the murder mystery. Think about the characters that inspire you and how they 
mix together. If you were a Pokemon fan, you were aware that Pikachu is often portrayed as having a personality in the TV show, in the manga that the TV show is inspired by, even in some of the games. They, they did a good job of showing that Pikachu has kind of this brusque personality, but then eventually warms up to the Pokemon trainer. But if you weren't into Pokemon, you had no clue about any of that. It was just a cute face. But everyone knows what a detective is. Everyone has basic familiarity with, you know, Sherlock Holmes and Scooby-Doo and and guys who go hunting after murderers and criminals. And so you put the two things together. It's so simple, but boom, once those two ideas come together, you have a character that is unlike anything that came before it. Detective Pikachu is a completely different character from regular Pikachu. Uh, maybe some good things to look at would be uh, re read the Scarlet Pimpernel. I think that's a good example of that the type of character I'm thinking of where the Scarlet Pimpernel was a very different sort of hero when he first came out. And then every superhero since the Scarlet Pimpernel has had a little bit of the Scarlet Pimpernel mixed inside of him. Uh, I, I clearly think that Detective Pikachu has, you know, shades of, you know, the uh, Sam Spade kind of kind of character in him, or and definitely the Sherlock Holmes, even the Deerstalker cap. So I uh, I don't know if I want to pay money to see Detective Pikachu in theaters, but I know I want to see it, you know, maybe when it's on cable or something. I definitely want to see what they do with it. I'm a little worried it's nostalgia bait that they're just trying to trick, you know, millennials like me who grew up on Pokemon to bring our kids to it because, hey, I like Pokemon. I love that when I was a kid. But I, I after watching the trailer twice, I'm at, I, I went from hating it and thinking this is going to be absolutely atrocious to thinking, you know, maybe they maybe they've picked up on what would make a character like this work. What would make a character like this work is an adorable character who no one takes seriously, but is actually a serious detective hunting hunting criminals. I think that would be great. So uh, I'll wait and see. Anyway, uh, what are characters that have inspired you? What are uh, the thing is, I'm trying to describe something I don't have a word for when I try to talk about Detec Detective Pikachu as a unique sort of iconic character that combines concepts. Oh, check out like Mickey Mouse. M Mickey Mouse and Mario are examples of this, where both Mickey Mouse and Mario and Pikachu are all sort of iconic uh, brands, right? They're trademarks that you can put on lunchboxes and backpacks. But Pikachu and Mario and Mickey Mouse have also had this sort of gr grimy aspect to some of their history where I'm thinking of the Floyd Gottfredson. I think that's the name of the artist. Mickey Mouse used to go on like all these great adventures and, you know, he'd be like, uh, He'd be in emotional turmoil because Minnie rejected him and he'd be fighting like, you know, dr drug gangs and criminals who are doing international bank robberies, all this great stuff. And so that's what built up these characters for a generation of people. Before Mickey Mouse was just generic, cute mouse character, Mickey Mouse was awesome adventure dude from New York. And what I really like about Detective Pikachu is it's taking a iconic brand, but giving him something that doesn't really fit with that iconic brand, the, the detective let's fight murderers aspect of it. So I'm really interested to see what the heck happens with this movie. Let me know your thoughts on the detective uh, Pikachu trailer in the description below. And I, uh, yeah, I read all my comments. So with that, I'm number one Marmaduke fan. I love you guys. I love my patrons on Patreon and I'll catch you later.